Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota, and I'm checking out a 2017 Toyota 86. Now the 86 in the 2017 model is a continuation of the Scion FRS model. So let's go ahead and check it out. This vehicle is sitting on 215 45R17 Michelin tires with 17 inch 10 spoke alloy wheels with a black and alloy combination in color. It also has four wheel disc brakes with ventilated disc brakes on all four wheels. The name of this color is Raven and it's like a black metallic black. You see with the sun shining on it you see little metallic flakes there. It has the Toyota emblem here front and center and check out that front lip spoiler all color matching you also have an HID projector headlight for your high and low beams you also have LED accents and turn signals this is what your key looks like it's pretty traditional key it does have the lock and unlock buttons the ability to open up the trunk and a panic button you also have the Toyota emblem on the other side let's go ahead and push the panic button and see what happens So it just beeps the horn, flashes the light. So when I push the unlock button, it gives us a beeping sound. On this particular vehicle, the dealer has tinted the glass, but uh, typically they would not be tinted. But let's go ahead and check out the inside. Starting here with the inside of the passenger door. So it has a soft to the touch surface around your arm with the perforated level le leather here. You also have some suede soft to the touch surfaces up here with the contrast stitching. You have a metallic handle and a chrome door handle. There's your controls. You have a bottle holder there, a nice big speaker with soft to the touch surfaces around it as well for your legs. There's your threshold with a aluminum seal plate. This portion here is a kind of a grippy rubber material, which is interesting. So here's your seats, and they have quite a bit of bolstering here on the bottom and the top. Kind of keeps you in position as you're cornering or whatever. It's more like, feels like a racing seat. Then your floor mats hook in place. They also have the 86 badging in, embellished there on the side, and they're like a Berber carpet design. You have the 86 embroidered right here and the Toyota badging in this suede portion of the dash. The glove compartment, all smooth plastic on the inside to keep it clean. Now the back seats are quite a bit bolstered. They go quite a bit down in and give you a, like a slanted seat here. The back portion is flat, and that back portion folds down in one piece, so in case you need to add to your trunk space. But in general, these seats, uh, if you're going to have any leg room whatsoever, you're going to have to compromise on the front seat's room. So you can see that seat's all the way back, and it is gives you no leg room pretty much. It does have the latch system to where you can use car seats back here. The fuel door is lockable and it's on the passenger side and it has this traditional cap with a tether system it also has a place to put the cup the uh the cap right in here to keep it away from your nice shiny paint and out of the way and you don't lose it either these little dimples here on the side are vortex stabilizers and just that little bit of extrusion from the side of the vehicle helps break up spinning air on the side of the vehicle uh, so that way it gives you better aerodynamics. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the vehicle. You have dual exhaust tips looking all awesome back here. They look oversized as well. And you have some lights back here at the bottom. You have a backup camera, a little bit offset here on this side. You have the to Toyota badging. 
LE, LED tail lights clustered there. Okay, so opening up the trunk, you can use the key, of course. So it has this little hold button right here. So we're gonna push that and hold it and it pops open. There's the inside of the trunk here. Okay, so really impressed with the size of the trunk the height isn't super high but overall it's a pretty good sized trunk and they try to give you extra space all the way here to the right and left here and here right in here to the left it has a button that says trunk opener cancel so basically there's a button on the inside of the vehicle that you can lock out to where it doesn't have access to the trunk. So if you give the a valet driver or somebody the valet key, they don't have access to the button on the key fob like this one to open up the trunk. So that way it keeps your stuff in the trunk locked and secure. All right, so here is your spare tire and tools. And of course you can utilize some of this space for cargo space if you need to. Okay, let's go ahead and start it up here. Okay, here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat. Now you can see the floor mat hooks in place in two places. And you have the aluminum pedals for your accelerator and brake pedal, as well as your footrest there, but it does have the raised rubber grips there, so your feet don't slide off or anything like that. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a latch a little bit, tiny bit to the right of center here. So I reach in and I move it over to the left. It's right there, there's your latch. And the hood is very light, easy to hold up. And it has a prop, this prop right here is used to hold it up and it goes in this position here. Here it is, 2.0 liter, four cylinder engine. Now this is a Subaru engine. You see it has Toyota and Subaru there. And it's a 2.0 liter four cylinder boxer engine. So basically it's what they call a flat four where two cylinders are on this side, two cylinders are on that side and they're horizontally opposed to each other. Now this has a couple of advantages. One is it keeps the center of gravity low. So inline four typically is vertical. So sticking up pretty high. This is down flat and low. It also has two cylinder heads, one on each side, which is able to disperse the heat better. It's an all aluminum engine. You have your intake here on the top. This black portion right here is your intake, so your nice clean cold air goes in the top. Your exhaust is channeled out the bottom of the vehicle. So you have directly out of the bottom of the heads on the sides is your exhaust so that way all your exhaust heat is completely just on the bottom of the of the engine there so as you're driving it's channeled away from your engine and your cooling uh, capability here also check out the oil filter that's easy super easy to get to your strut towers are braced to the center portion of the vehicle for stability batteries right there easy to get to Now this engine is paired to a six-speed automatic transmission. It's a sequential shifting 
automatic transmission. Okay, let's take a look on the inside of the driver's side door. Now it's just like the other side, except for it has a few more buttons. You have an automatic power window for both the driver and the passenger. So it's one touch up and down. And it goes pretty quick. Your side mirrors are adjusted with this little knob here. You just pick a side by turning it and you can use it like a little joystick. Here's your seats. Now the manual adjusted seat here on the driver's side also has the height adjustment with that lever there in the center. Your interior gauges, dimmer switch gauges right here. You have the ability to open up the trunk there. You also have a tilt and a telescoping steering column. You lock it in place with this lever. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here on the inside. Looking really awesome with the suede here in the center. And just everything is pretty comfortable. I mean, the seat really hugs your body, keeps you in place, and surprisingly, you have a lot of leg room. I, I could put my legs completely straight out there, and uh, the knee room is pretty good too. Has a little bit of an overlap space there, and the soft speaker grill area kind of helps out with resting your leg there. Okay, let's go ahead and start here on the steering wheel. It's a leather wrap steering wheel with the white contrast stitching on the inside. Then you have the metallic portions around it as well. Your cruise control is down in here. You just turn it on, set it, change through your speeds, and cancel it by pulling it in. You also have paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel. So right back here, if you can see that, all the way from the top to the bottom is your paddle shifter. So as you're driving, you can cycle through the gear ratios if you want to. You also have the volume for your radio, change through your presets, and you can change your audio source right here on that mode button. Windshield wiper controls are on the right. On the left side is your turn signal with your headlight controls. So you, have, you can have your daytime running lights off, automatic parking lights, and then your headlights on. You can reset your trip here. You different have your kilometers and miles per hour options there. So here's your gauges, really cool looking. Front and center is your speedometer, and it has the kind of a uh, a light colored background there. But look at the red line; it doesn't red line to almost seven and a half thousand RPMs. The speedometer is really cool looking. Look at it; it goes up to 160, but check it out; it's kind of like all the way bent down. So you're basically the speedometer is going to stay pointing down the whole time uh, for most of your driving, which is interesting. And then you have your uh, engine coolant temperature on the bottom and your fuel gauge there on top. And there's your odometer. That's where you'll find also your trip information there with those buttons. You can cycle through that. You also have a digital speedometer, which is handy. Here's your center stack area, surrounded by suede. That's really, really neat. And then you have that piano black, gloss black uh, bevel around the touchscreen. Get a little bit of glare in the camera, but uh, but actually when I'm looking at the screen with my own eyes, uh, it doesn't really cause much of a problem. But anyways, um, so here's your radio screen here, and then you have your presets on the left. You can change your audio sources by pushing that button. You have AM, FM, AHA, USB, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary inputs here. You have a traditional volume knob. You can go into different settings by pushing that button, and you have all kinds of different settings. The general setting has even more stuff to go through. You have a voice recognition button, and then your Bluetooth phone control right there, and then you can change uh, back to your media. You have a separate digital clock, which is handy because you don't have to look for it on the screen. So a separate digital clock is good. Also, it's easy to, to adjust with the hour and minute buttons there. Four-way flashers are here. There's your climate control. 
So you have your fan speed, your temperature, and where you want the air to blow. Pretty simple, easy to use. You have a USB and auxiliary inputs right here. And a little tiny storage space right in here would be a good to, place to put your phone or whatever. Okay, so here's your shifter, and it has the boot. It kind of looks like a manual transmission, but this one is automatic. Um, you can get a manual, of course. And it has that uh, sporty-looking leather stitching here. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse so we can check out the backup camera, see what it looks like. So we can see from the bumper to the sky and all the way around. Okay, so moving on on the shifter, go down the neutral, drive, that's your normal drive position. You can always go to manual mode. Instead of using the pedal shifters, you can move it over to this manual mode and you can use it like a ratchet shifter. So moving it forward and backwards, backwards is going to change through the gear ratios, which is pretty neat. So right in here you have a sport mode, you have a snow mode. Since this is a real wheel drive vehicle, uh, it helps to have a little bit of help with the the vehicle in snow. So it has that separate snow mode, so it can start in in a high gear ratio, so that way it doesn't uh, break traction when you, you accelerate, that kind of thing. And then you have a traction control off, so your stability and traction control, you can turn that off. Now right here is your track mode, so this will turn off your stability control. It'll allow you to spin tires and all kinds of stuff. So. If you really want to have fun, do donuts and all that stuff, you can put it in this track mode and, uh, and do that. You have a handbrake, parking brake here. A little place to put some stuff here in the center. And then you have this storage container with cup holders. You can put a pen or whatever. This is removable. And then you can use this whole space if you want to for whatever you want. You also have a 12 volt power supply there. Here's your rear view mirror with the manual day and night mode. You also have interior lights here that you can turn on. You can have them turn on with the door or you can turn even that feature off. Your visors, I like the way they're all black, it's pretty cool. I like a black vinyl. And then you have the mirror there. Same thing on the other side. Okay, let's look at the visibility in the back. You have this nice big glass uh, to look out in the back. So there's, unless you have some back seat drivers in the way, then you can see really good back there. You do also have some windows there on the side to help out with blind spots as well. Of course, the backup camera helps out as well too. All right, there you have it. 2017, now called the Toyota 86. Really cool, sporty vehicle, and this has always been an impressive vehicle to me. So thank you for watching, and thank you to Sparks Toyota here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle, and I'll see you guys next time.